Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let's take a close look at value types in numbers. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 600 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So if you work with Mac numbers a lot it's important to understand the different value types that can be in cells. For instance you could have numbers, you could have text, you can have dates. Let's take a look at all of them and how to properly use them. So here I have a blank table in numbers and I'm going to enter something simple into this first cell. Just a number. And this is the most basic value type in numbers. A number itself. Now when I select it I want you to pay careful attention to what you see at the bottom left corner. See it here? It says Actual. It's very important to always pay attention to what you see in the bottom left hand corner. This will give you a clue as to what numbers thinks is in the cell. Whenever you have a number, no matter what type of format it is, whether it's a simple number like 7, a large number like this, a number with a decimal point like that, it will always say Actual. And then to the right of the word Actual you'll see the value itself. Now numbers can be formatted all sorts of different ways. If I go to Format Cell on the right I can change the data format. Automatic means the numbers is going to take its best guess as to what is in the cell. And most of the time that's all you need. But you can set it specifically to something. For instance I can choose Number and choose all sorts of things like the number of decimal places whether include a thousand separator or things like that. I could also say this is actually currency. And you can see it will automatically give me two decimal places put a dollar sign in front of it. I could also say percentage. In this case 1% is the equivalent to .01. The number 1 would be 100%. In this case the number 7 is 700%. There are other types of number formats as well. But notice no matter what I switch to like here with percentage it still says the actual value is 7. If I switch to currency the actual value is 7 but it gives you the dollar sign in front of that to indicate currency. Now let's look at a different data format. Another one you're going to commonly use and this is text. And this is when you type words into the cell. So when you type something in you'll see here with it selected it will say text. Not actual but text. And you'll see the text there. Now text can't be used for calculations. You can't add pieces of text together. You can't add a number to text. But you commonly use text for things like sorting, filtering, and comparisons. And when you want to go and indicate that a row which usually represents a record has some sort of text information like if each row represented a person text would be the person's name or perhaps the name of the department they work in. Now another type of data is date and time. So you could do something like type in 530 with a slash in between and it will recognize that it's a date format and automatically format it for date. If you look at Actual down there it now says 5 slash 30 slash 2020. So it assumes the current year if you don't include the year. Now date and time is the same thing. So if I were to go down here and type 5 slash 30 and 5 o'clock like that and hit return you could see here it says Actual is 530 2020 at 5 a.m. You could format cells with the date right here and you can change the date to all sorts of formats, time to all sorts of formats, or none to not include the time there. Now another format type is Duration. So Duration is a length of time. So for instance 5 minutes. I could type 5 minutes and you can see it converts it to the duration format. Now numbers formats are just numbers. Date formats we're familiar with. You can have slashes between the day and the month or you could write it out like May 5th. That kind of thing. But a lot of people aren't familiar with how durations are written out. And they are typically written out with letters. So if I select this here and go to Cell, Format, and Duration you can see I can go to Custom Units and I can choose to include the weeks, days, hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. And that gives you a complete duration with 0 W, 0 D, 0 H, 5 M for 5 minutes, 0 S for seconds, and 0 M S for milliseconds or thousands of a second. If you leave it on automatic it will just include what's proper. So I can put it like that. If I were to type something like say 5.2 D as in 5.2 days and hit Return you can see it converts that to 5 days, 4 hours, 48 minutes which is 5 and 2 tenths of a day. Now you can perform calculations on dates and on durations. With dates you can add or subtract durations. So here with 
this day here I can go and create a formula that is this date and let's say plus 5 days. I'm going to put it in quotes because otherwise numbers will confuse it with a cell location. So 5 days and you can see it works. I can subtract 5 days as well and you can see that works too. You can add durations together. So for instance these two durations here I could create a formula that adds one to the other and that will work. But I can't add two dates together. That doesn't make any sense. And I can't multiply a date by something. I can only add and subtract durations to it. Now there's another type of data format called a Boolean. A Boolean is a true or false value. You can actually enter in Boolean values by typing the word true or false. So if I type true and hit return you can see it makes it uppercase to indicate that it's actually done something with it. If I select it it says actual and true there. I could also type false and it will do the same thing. These are not the same as 0 and 1. True and false are different values and they could be used in formulas to compare things or you can use them in if statements, things like that. There is a better way to represent true and false values inside of numbers and that's to convert from automatic data format to checkbox. Checkbox is kind of like the special format for Boolean values. So trues will be checked boxes and falses will be unchecked. And if I click on that cell there you can see actual is false. This one actual is true. So it's up to you whether or not you want to represent them as the words true and false or you want to use them as checkboxes. Often Boolean values are the result of formulas. Not something you type in. So for instance if I have a number here like 8 and I have a formula here for this value is greater than 7 then the result is a Boolean value true. And if I would change this to a 6 you can see it changes it to false. But in this case you can't use checkboxes. If I converted this to a checkbox it removes the formula. The idea is you can click them to change the value in it. And you shouldn't be able to do that if it's the result of a formula. So Boolean values that are results of formulas need to be set to automatic. But Boolean values that you're going to be able to change manually you can set those to automatic to enter true and false or checkbox to be able to check and uncheck that box. And there's some weird cases in numbers where it treats Boolean values as text. So for instance if I type true in here and I want to do a conditional highlight here I can add a conditional highlighting rule and you can see there is no way to say equal to. If I say equal to and I say true it's not going to accept it. Instead I add the rule for text and use is and say text is and then true. And then I'll make it bold if it's true. So you can see if I change the value to false it's not bold. And if I change it to true it is. So for conditional highlighting you treat true and false as text even though it's really the special Boolean value instead. Now if you want to be complete there's one more type of value you can have in a cell. We're always using that and that's formulas. When you use a formula the cell kind of has a dual nature. So for instance if I put 1 here and 2 there and then here I have a formula taking this cell and adding it to this cell you can see the result is 3. If I select it it will say not actual or text but formula and it will give you the formula here. However in the cell we see the number 3. That's the dual nature. The actual contents of the cell is the formula E4 plus E5 in this case. But what we see in the spreadsheet is the result of the formula not the formula itself. So this makes it different than all other cell types. There is the value that's hidden in the spreadsheet and the result that's visible on the spreadsheet. But you could always see the formula itself by selecting the cell and looking at the bottom. And of course if I were to double click in it I would go and edit the cell and I can't edit the result. Instead I'm editing the formula. So I hope this provides you with a little bit of a deeper understanding of how numbers works and helps you to build your spreadsheets. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.